This right here is gonna be awesome. Yeah, I'm already regretting doing that. What you're seeing here on my table is the Omni Modular Display Case, which is a fully three printable and customizable display case that you can print to show off all the different things that you're 3D printing around your house or for like me here in my studio. And a few months ago, I showed off how you could 3D print your own configurable, customizable 3D printed tabletop that was launched via Kickstarter campaign that I ended up backing and I still haven't bothered 3D printing the final versions of that. I really need to get around doing that. But this is a brand new Kickstarter campaign that is actually ending in the next, I think two days when this video is posting. There's not a whole lot of time left for you to check this out and get in on the pricing that's available via the Kickstarter campaign and a lot of the different rewards that are already unlocked as part of this campaign. And it's already massive and I'm so excited for this to finally be released so I can get my full access to all of the different files because I'm desperately wanting to print up some really big display cases for my studio. Again, they're completely configurable. So if you want a really small display case, like the one that I printed out here that I'll be showing off and getting this thing fully assembled, but you also have the option to print wider options or really tall and narrow options or just a really large display case, there's gonna be a whole bunch of different variety options for you to pick and choose from as well as you can just run off and make your own combination if you really wanted to. And before we get too far into this video, I wanted to say thank you to Elegoo for sponsoring today's video. They're the ones making the Elegoo Neptune series of 3D printers, which I've run off and printed all of these parts on. The good news about these files is that they're pretty small, so you don't necessarily need a really large 3D printer to print any of the pieces on. However, if you have something like the Neptune 3 Plus or the Neptune 3 Max, you can print a whole lot of these parts at one time, especially if you upgrade those to a 0.6 millimeter nozzle and use an even thicker layer height, you can print these in just a matter of hours, which is fantastic. Also, if you've been looking to get your hands on the ever elusive Neptune 3 Max or the Neptune 3 Plus, those are up again for pre-order purchasing over on Elegoo's website. And starting on June 1st, we're gonna be doing something really fun and special. So make sure to stay tuned for more information about that. And you might be thinking a Kickstarter campaign for a set of three printable files, come on now. Well, actually I made a video previously about this here that you can find a link to up above, but basically it's a great way for you to market your files, but also draw a lot of attention to the campaign and hopefully allow you to create some really attractive add-on options that you would typically have to buy individually after your campaign's release. So by backing the campaign now, you get access to just a slew of files. And the other great news about backing a 3D printable Kickstarter campaign is that you typically get the files within about a month or so, or even quicker when the campaign ends versus buying a physical product that has to get made and then shipped and delivered to you. It's just a much easier process when dealing with 3D printable files. I actually ended up backing this campaign, I think on day one or near day one and got very early in on this, was very excited to see this because this is exactly something that I have been interested in being able to do and have access to. And I ended up printing, again, all these parts over on my Neptune 3D printers and I ended up using a 0.6 millimeter nozzle and I printed most of these, I think all of them at 0.28 millimeter layer height. Now they did send me a basic set of instructions on how to actually go about assembling this. However, I do believe those instructions are gonna be updated and they're actually working on a full on assembly video that walks you through the process of printing and assembling all of these parts to create your display case. Now, typically when you're gonna be assembling these, there are openings here for bolts that you can use to mount the parts together. So it's added durability of the parts as you're snapping them together. They're, uh, they do, they, they've said that you can print these without supports. I ended up using some snug supports in Prusa Slicer and I was able to easily remove those out of this. In some of the parts, I didn't end up using supports just to see how it worked and it did end up working okay. I did have a little bit of stringing from the overhangs, but nothing really bad or negative that I couldn't easily clean up. And what I was basically trying to get to is as part of the assembly process, you are gonna wanna use some bolts to assemble this. However, part of the core printing process here and all of these parts are not no longer in order as I had them out on my table previously. And there's a core set of files that you're gonna end up using to build out the depth of the modular display pieces. Now, these are individual pieces that I've run off and printed here that you're gonna stack 
in groups of four or two or however deep you need to actually stack these to create the depth of your modular display case. And what they've mentioned to me is that they've actually created a set of merged files. So you don't have to individually print a whole bunch of these at one time. You can just print one larger set of files or they might even have some smaller subset options that you can work with depending on the configuration of the display case that you're looking to print. Again, this will just allow you to print more of these at one time without having to do all the assembly work that you might have to do with the individual parts. Now what I'm gonna be using just for this video and demonstration purposes, just to show off the display case and printing it is gonna be using some 3D glue to weld and glue these parts together. When I go about actually printing the final set of files that I'll receive as part of the campaign as well, I will definitely be using the proper way of using some bolts to uh, attach these things so they're nice and secure. So I've got the core frame of this all assembled. Again, I just used some 3D glue to more or less glue all the parts together. Normally, you would not wanna do that. You'd wanna actually use the bolts and screws to actually make sure that these are nicely secured in place. This is just sort of a demonstration purposes here. But before I install the cover pieces, what we need to do is install the shelves that can be slotted directly into the openings inside of this display case. And once we've got those in a position that we like, we can then proceed with installing the rest of the frame. Again, you would typically bolt this down here. And again, I'm just gonna kind of mash it into place. And then the actual cover frame goes directly on the top of it. This is so friggin' cool. Here it is, the modular display case that I fully 3D printed here. This is the smallest configuration option at 230 by 230 millimeter in size. It's perfect for your miniatures or smaller sculptures that you might have that you've run off and 3D printed that you might wanna have on display. I'm personally gonna be looking forward to printing some of the really large display options so I can print up and show off some of the larger statues or helmets or crazy things like that here in the studio. But one thing that you'll notice that's missing are the acrylic panels on the front or the sides or the top. They did mention, uh, they reached out to me and let me know that you will be able to order those or make your own acrylic panels, or you can use no acrylic panels if you really wanted to and just have the box as is. Uh, also, there are channels on the inside for LED strips, which is really cool. And even on the back, there is a little latch attachment there. So for the power supply that's gonna go onto, uh, for the LED lights there, typically Typically there's a box that are gonna go with it. You can hold that in place on the back of the shelving unit. The other thing that I like about the file designs that they've made for these is that the front plate cover here is actually gonna be magnetically attachable to the front of the display case. So there's a part that you can print off and attach magnets to it so that it'll more easily attach and stay in place on the frame here so that if you wanted to take it off and adjust what you've got in the shelf, it's gonna be magnetically held in place. So the other really cool thing about this campaign is that there are a ton, and I mean an absolute ton of different tier reward unlocks that have already been unlocked because the campaign has already done so well. And those are all different add-on options for things that can go either inside of the display case, like stands for your miniatures or your prints or whatever it is that you wanna put on there, or things that can go on the outside of the display case to sort of personalize it and make it your own. And they actually sent me two of those example files, which is a Dwarven set there. And then the other is a cyberpunk-ish type of display piece. So there are a whole bunch of different other file sets that you can print off, but I just went off and printed the corner pieces here. And what's really cool about them is that they just attach onto the existing thing. So you don't have to necessarily disassemble anything. They're just going to add on to your existing case. So they've got pegs on the bottom of them and on the back of your display case are openings for those pegs to insert into. And here those are installed on the side panels here. And there are also pieces that go along the entire frame 
of the display case. So you're not gonna have gaps in there. It'll match the theme that you've decided to print out to accessorize your display cases. And as I mentioned, the campaign is ending in the next day or two. So if you're interested in these, you'll find links to that down below. By the way, I'm not being, uh, they're not paying me to make this video or anything like that. I was just extremely excited about this. I reached out to them and they shared some of these files so that I could print them off and show them to you all. And again, this is not even the final set of files. They have made tweaks and adjustments to these since then. And one little thing that I relayed back to them that they've since modified all the files is the, uh, the, the prints here will now come identified. We'll have like a little tag on them. So it'll be more easily identifiable for you when you're mass printing all these to see what part is what when you're going through the installation process, because there are just a lot of different things that you can 3D print when it comes to assembling these. By the way, this took about a roll and a half of filament here of PLA that I ended up printing. This was just Elegoose basic gray PLA. And then I think of random other gray PLA that I had laying around there. And I also wanted to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making content here on the interwebs. If you're interested in things like my resin 3D printer settings or my FDM 3D printer settings, you can find those over in my Patreon. I just think this is a really cool and unique idea that I haven't seen before of a 3D printed display case for the different items that you're running off and printing almost daily. So now you have a way to get those on display and show them off to your friends and family. Hey, thanks so much for watching you all and I'll see you next time.